Hey guys, Sarah Strake here. So, um, a couple things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I, like I said in the previous update, update number four, that I'm getting my shoulder and my back fixed. Now, not just one shoulder, I'm getting both my shoulders fixed. Um, and what that entails is they're going to take these needles and they're going to stick them into my muscle. They're going to open up the muscle and then they're going, it, it's kind of, it's that way my muscle can heal properly and I won't have to worry about this shit anymore. And as you can see, I'm in my official wall <laughs> that I'm going to be using to do some of these really short videos. Um, but yeah, so there's uh, a couple things that are going to happen. You know, the first night, or the first day, um, as soon as I get it done, what they're going to do is they're going to put Novocaine on the needles. I know, right? Weird. Um, but they're going to put Novocaine on them and then they're going to jab them into me. And, and the thing that they're going to do, they have to hurt me for this. Um, they have to hurt me so that they know where the pain is, so that they know where those needles need to go. And it sounds a lot scarier than it really is. Um, I know this coming... Wednesday and Thursday, I have to work my muscles really hard because they need to be in pain Friday so that they know where they are so they don't have to continuously jab me. But they are. They're going to jab me a crap ton of times. And so for the first day, right after the show, I'm going to be numb. Like, because of the Novocaine, but it's going to wear off and then I am going to be in a lot of pain. Um, now with this, there are some complications that can happen. Um... Because they're also going to be hitting the muscles in my back, um, in between my ribs. There is a chance that they could puncture my lungs. And there is a chance that they can deflate one of my lungs. And, um, I could end up in the ER. Now, the chances are remote. They're, they're, they're slim to none. They really are. The guy that's doing this, um, he's... He's never done it. He, he's never punctured a lung. He's never sent anybody to the ER with this procedure. So I shouldn't have anything to worry about. But I still had to sign waivers that said that I pretty much won't sue them if um, they screw me over too much. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Um, but yeah, it looks like if the worst that could happen is yeah, I could get a punctured lung and I'd have to go into surgery for major surgery so that they can fix up the hole and uh, reinflate my lungs and uh, take out all the extra blood that um, seeps into them. It's this is getting really dark. This is not at all what I was uh, going for. <laughs> uh. So yeah, I just um, I just wanted to let you know what was going on. Um, I wasn't gonna tell anybody about it. Like, I, I told you guys that I was getting it fixed. I told you that they were gonna use needles, but I wasn't gonna tell everybody the extent of it. Um, but I've had a couple people ask questions, and I just recently told my mom what was gonna happen, and she's not thrilled right now uh, with me, I guess. I don't know if she's not thrilled with me not telling her from the beginning, or if she's just not thrilled at the fact that I could be seriously injured by this. Um, probably a little bit of both, to be honest. But yeah, um, I, there there is a small chance. And as much as I don't like to admit it, it, it does make me a little nervous. And... I've never had anything like this done. You know, I've never had anything like this, this extensive, ever done to me in a hospital. You know, and I think the, the most I've ever done is given birth, <laughs> which I know is going to be a lot more painful, um, and there's going to be a lot more complications, but at the same time, I don't think I've ever had anything done to where what they could do could land me in some serious hot water. And I'm, I'm not going to deny that it, it does make me nervous. It does. It, it really does make me nervous. Um, 
So, like I said, if worst comes to worst, you know I'm going to be in the ER. Um, this is all going down Friday. Not today, uh, but next Friday on the uh, 23rd. So, yeah, I'm just letting you guys know what's going on. Um, I think I'll be fine. I mean, I don't think there's going to be any real issues. But at the same time, there's a chance. Uh, so, you know, I know my outro seems a little ridiculous to say right now, but I'm going to say it in every episode I possibly can for you guys. You know, as always, I am Sarah Strake, and I love each and every one of you, and I'm going to be thinking about all of you um, this Friday. And I'm going to be thinking about how many more videos I want to make for you guys, because this is a little scary. Like I said, I could end up with a punctured lung, and I could end up in the ER, and I could be in the hospital for a long time. But, you know, I'll, no matter what, no matter what happens, I will post as many videos as I can for you guys. So, I will talk and sing for you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.